Welcome to Processing Locked Android Devices, Through Bypass, Routing, and Analysis. We will start with bypassing a locked device. There are multiple methods. The most common method is the chip bypass option. Currently, there are three primary chips that can be bypassed. They are MediaTek, Spreadtrum, and EDL Qualcomm. I will now demonstrate with a locked Android device. First, I will show the device is indeed locked. When you do a chip bypass, typically you will need to restart the device to load the proper drivers. I am pulling the image file for the chip match of this device. Once a connection is established, I will start the full memory dump of the device. Once it is complete, I can review the captured data in the file system view, in E3, and use the other valuable analysis options. Another option to gain file system access, is routing. There are multiple routing options within E3, from the built-in method, to using third-party root options, through the E3 tool. I will now demonstrate the use of a third-party routing method, on a device. Once the device is plugged in, and the third-party root option is selected, the device will be identified in a list, for adding the root command. The wizard will walk you through the routing process. Once the connection is established, follow the commands to correctly root the device. Routing will give you access to the file system of the device, and more app-related data. I will select to set up the routing options manually. Our helpful documentation will also give you guidance to complete this process. I will be using Samsung Knox on this device, which is a Samsung Galaxy. Once you have made the selections, you will be prompted with a warning of the risk of routing. Routing can risk the data on a device, but this risk is low. However, to continue, you must acknowledge you understand this risk. Once the routing begins, it is a fairly quick process to go through the different options. Once the device is routed, you can acquire the device using the primary acquisition wizard. You can image the device logically, with full root access, or do specific collections. In this example, I have selected to collect data only from certain areas. When we reach the analysis stage with an Android device, there are many options available. Typically, an investigator will start with apps, as this is the primary area where most people spend their time. This is part of why routing is so critical. It allows you to get as much access to those apps as possible. E3 conveniently presents all the app data in a directory for third-party apps. This allows you to quickly see what apps were on the device, their version number, and if the data was parsed. We can easily use this app directory to navigate to, and review, a variety of different app-related data points. Additionally, all of the metadata associated with the permissions of the app, can be reviewed. Each of these data points can tell you if an app has access to certain areas of the device. This is an excellent method to search for potential malware, or other issues on the device. If we go back to our apps, we can use other options in E3, such as the built-in viewer, to see the data in a variety of different ways. Textual data, that can often be found on a mobile device, can also be searched in multiple languages with the built-in OCR engine. If you are looking for more than image data, you can use the convenient search options. With a live search, you can use some advanced techniques that include Boolean, regular expressions, adding new language support, and searching with unique items, such as emojis and emoticons. Finally, after your data review, you can use the unique activity timeline feature. This feature is only available in E3, and allows you to review what has happened, and what apps have been run on the device. This feature allows you to see if the user started a process on the device, versus the device operating system starting it on its own. Typically, activity timeline data represents months of user and system activity on the device. Finally, the reporting options gives you an excellent way to share the Android data you have collected, in an easy-to-use and comprehensive report. Thank you for joining us on this journey through Android Forensics. If you have further questions, or would like a personal demo or trial, please reach out to us at forensics at parabin.com.